What is respiration? The process of respiration in plants involves using the sugars produced during photosynthesis plus oxygen to produce energy for plant growth. In many ways, respiration is the opposite of photosynthesis. In the natural environment, plants produce their own food to survive. They use carbon dioxide from the environment to produce sugars and oxygen, which can later be utilised as a source of energy. While photosynthesis takes place in the leaves and stems only, respiration occurs in the leaves, stems and roots of the plant. The process of respiration is represented by the following chemical equation. C6H12O6 plus 6O2 equals 6CO2, 6H2O and ATP energy. Now that might sound like a very complex equation, but actually when we break it down, it's not. So what we have here is our glucose and oxygen, which is then formed carbon dioxide, water and ATP energy. Respiration takes place in all plant cells, but can only use one source of fuel. And that's the glucose or starch that's already been produced by photosynthesis. This means that photosynthesis and respiration are locked in a sort of race. When photosynthesis can't keep up with respiration, growth and repair will slow or even stop in a plant. What are the two types of respiration? As with photosynthesis, plants get oxygen from the air through the stomata. Respiration takes place Respiration takes place in the mitochondria of the cell in the presence of oxygen, which is called anaerobic respiration. In plants where there are two types of respiration, dark respiration and photorespiration, the first kind occurs in the presence of light or the absence of light, whilst the second occurs exclusively in the presence of light. Respiration operates continuously even at night, and of course photosynthesis only happens during sunlight. So both processes require a suitable temperature to work also. This explains the slowdown of growth in the cooler, darker months. It also explains the need for different turf management practices where there is shade. So what difference does air temperature have on respiration? Plant respiration occurs 24 hours per day. But at night, respiration is more evident since the photosynthesis process ceases. It's very important that temperature is cooler during the night than the day because plants can experience stress. So imagine a runner in a marathon. The runner respires at a rate higher than the person that's standing still. Therefore, a runner's rate of respiration is higher and the temperature of the body increases. The same principle applies to plants. As temperature at night increases, the respiration rate increases and consequently, the temperature in the plant increases. This action could result in flower damage and poor plant growth. Oxygen requirements. One of the functions of the substrate is to serve a site for air exchange between roots and the atmosphere. In other words, roots breathe oxygen like we do. Different plants have different oxygen requirements for their root systems. For example, the root system of a poinsettia requires a lot of oxygen, so it's best to use a substrate with high air porosity, while hostas can live in a substrate with high water holding capacity. So a defence mechanism for plants under waterlogged or excessively dry conditions is to grow aerial roots from the stem just above the root of the crown. However, the ambient relative humidity must be high enough to sustain root growth outside the substrate, else this will not occur.